Hello, what if you could make money online with minimal effort? With this automation, I've already made 2,700, and the best part, it keeps generating passive income. I uploaded images to Adobe Stock, and they continue to sell today. This means I earn money without doing any extra work. Today, generating images is easier than ever. Tools like Midjourney, Leonardo, Ideogram, and Dolly from OpenAI allow you to create stunning visuals in seconds. But there's a major challenge, creating accurate titles, tags, and keywords for these images. Without proper metadata, your images won't be discovered and they won't sell. That's where this automation comes in. It automatically generates metadata, titles, descriptions, and keywords for the images you create. This makes it easy to process and organize hundreds or even thousands of images per day, allowing you to upload them effortlessly to stock platforms or your own website to start earning. Here's how this automation works. The first step is to create a dedicated folder where you will upload all the images that need metadata. In my case, I've chosen a folder named Automation with subfolders like Cell Images or Upload Here to keep things organized. Next, you need to create a table in Google Sheets with the following columns. File name, title, keywords, category, releases. This CSV format is required by Adobe Stock, and you can find more details on their official documentation. It's also important to understand Adobe's category system. Please check the link provided, and later in the tutorial, I will show you exactly where to place the category. Now. Let me show you exactly how I built this automation step-by-step. Step. The first note in N8N is a manual trigger. This will allow us to start the workflow manually by clicking the red Test Workflow button. Next, we add a Google Drive search module to find the images. Connect to your Google Drive account. Under Resources, select File Folder. Set Operation to Search. Under Search Method, select Search File Folder. Check Return All to ensure metadata is created for all images in the folder. Then, apply a folder filter. Under Folder Selection, choose From List and select the Upload folder you created earlier. Now, let's move on to the next node in the automation. Download Images from Google Drive. Here are the settings you need to configure for this node. Connect to your Google Drive account. Under Resources, select File. Set Operation to Download. In the file field, use expression mode and drag the file ID from the previous module. To handle multiple images, add a loop over items module. Set the batch size to one, ensuring that images are processed one at a time. Next node, analyze the image using OpenAI. This is one of the most important steps. Connect to your OpenAI account. Under resources, select image. Under operation, Choose Analyze, Image. Choose a model. I recommend GPT-4 or GPT-40 Mini for best results. In the text input, use a well-structured prompt to generate metadata. Adjust and refine the prompt periodically to improve results and optimize for Adobe's search algorithm. For the output format, request the results in JSON format to structure the data properly. Please pause the video here and copy the prompt. Under Input Type, select Binary File. Under Input Data Field Name, select Data. Check the Simplify Output option. Since OpenAI returns the keywords as an array, we need to convert them into a proper format using a code node. Set mode to run once for all items. Set the language to JavaScript. Copy and paste the provided JavaScript code to transform the keywords array into a comma-separated string. Please pause the video and copy the code. Finally, add a Google Sheets module to save the extracted metadata. Connect your Google Sheets account. Under Resources, select Sheet Within Document. Under Operations, select Append Row. Choose the Google Sheet you created earlier, selecting it from the list. Under Sheet Selection, choose Sheet 1. In Column Mapping Mode, manually map the fields, File name, title, keywords, category, releases. To make the upload process seamless, ensure that all images in a batch belong to the same Adobe stock category. This makes it easier to upload images in bulk, reducing manual work. Now let's see how it works. Upload five images into the Google Drive folder. 
check the Google Sheet to confirm it's empty before running the automation. Run the N8N workflow by clicking Test Workflow. The automation will retrieve the images from Google Drive, send them to OpenAI for analysis, generate metadata, title, keywords, and category. Store the results in Google Sheets. Once the process is complete, I will show you how to upload the images and the CSV file to Adobe Stock for bulk submission. Now, go to your Adobe Stock Contributor account and click on the Upload button. Drag and drop your images into the Upload window and wait for all files to be processed. This may take a few seconds, depending on the number of images. Once the upload is complete, you'll notice that none of the images have proper metadata. Titles, keywords, and categories are missing. This is where our automation comes into play. As on Open Google Sheets, go to File, Download, and select CSV Format to export the metadata file. After all images are uploaded, click on Upload CSV in Adobe Stock and select the CSV file you just downloaded. Like magic, all metadata is now applied to your images. Titles, keywords, and categories are automatically filled in. In this example, I uploaded five images, but I typically work in batches of 100 images, and the process remains just as smooth. This entire system ensures that every image is correctly tagged, making it easy to scale your stock photography business and generate passive income with minimal effort. And trust me, it works. I hope you found this automation useful. If you appreciate my work, please subscribe to the channel and like this video. It really helps. And if you're a true automation fan, and wanted to download this workflow, you can get it in my school community. Just click the first link in the description. There you'll find many other automations designed to make your life easier, so be sure to check it out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next tutorial. It's going to be an exciting one.